Daniel Ricciardo made a successful comeback to Formula 1 at the Hungarian Grand Prix. He outqualified his teammate Tsunoda, who himself has had a pretty good season, and Daniel finished P13 where he started after being caught in some early drama with the Alpines and Alfa Romeos. He finished 18 seconds behind Stroll in the last points position, despite the early pit stop and the pace was decent all weekend long. This will 100% be talked about at Red Bull with regards to the second Red Bull seats, which Sergio Perez currently holds. Perez himself has had a bad run of qualifying lately, but has always made a decent comeback drive through the field to finish high up in the points, with Monaco being the only race outside the points for obvious reasons. Perez being back on the podium after a crash in FP1 should bring his confidence up and his racing should improve from here. But that just brings up the question, who should be in that second Red Bull seat, Perez or Ricardo? Most F1 fans will say Ricardo because he is a fan favorite, but the stats says they are basically the same, if not more in Perez's favor. Let's take a look. Both of them made their F1 debut in 2011. Both have well over 200 races, with Daniel on 233 and Perez on 250. Daniel have 8 wins and Perez has 6. Daniel have 32 podiums, with Perez also on 32 podiums. Daniel was on the podium once with McLaren and twice with Renault, and the other 29 was with Red Bull. A very high percentage of podiums here is with Red Bull. Perez have 22 podiums with Red Bull, and the rest are split between former Aston Martin teams in Force India and Racing Point and Sauber. There's a greater percentage of Red Bull podiums for Ricardo than for Perez, which is in Perez's favor because his other teams weren't top teams. Perez has shown great consistency throughout his entire career with different teams and part of the grid. Always been a name in the points. That's with Ferrari engines, Mercedes engines and now Honda engines. And we know that every engine drive differently and the driver has to adapt. If you want to talk about career points, then Daniel have 1311 points scored in his career and Perez have 1372. Their career highs rounded up says that Sergio Perez is the more consistent and experienced driver. But why is it then that Daniel becomes a name in the hat for drivers to replace him? The answer to that is nostalgia and marketing because there's nothing on track that says that Daniel Ricciardo is an upgrade to Paris in that second Red Bull seat. At the very best, it's a side grade, or in most cases, a downgrade. People like to say that Daniel was the closest one in Red Bull to match Verstappen, and Max is the benchmark in F1 at the moment. They like to say that he was close to him in pace and could outscore him. While that may or may not be the case, I like to ask the question, when exactly was this? In 2015, Max debuted for Toro Rosso. In 2016, they became teammates in Red Bull. Daniel outscored Max in 2016 and 17, and lost in 2018 and decided to leave. So when Max was extremely young, immature and reckless, Ricardo could match him on points, and that was during Ricardo's peak. Now, when Max is matured, calculated and a monster behind that wheel of the Red Bull, Daniel Ricciardo would be bodied by his teammate. I personally think that Albon would do a way better job in that second Red Bull seat given the chance than both Perez and Ricciardo, but that's another story. So the answer to the question, should Ricciardo replace Perez in Red Bull? No. There are not enough reasons for that to happen. And if you look historically up to now, Perez is arguably the better driver right now and better suited for the Red Bull. I understand that people love Ricardo, but there is just not enough reasons to risk him in that second Red Bull seat. He's better off staying at Alfa Tauri and going through the entire name change or brand change or whatever's gonna happen to that team at the end of this year. It's better for marketing, and if he performs well, he might very well be a name for Aston Martin or Audi in the future. But should he be in that second Red Bull seat? I'm sorry, the answer is no. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.